Chapter 1571, Diviner McMaster Prodigy. Because of the door to the side hall, Kin Yi wasn't able to see how Lin Ming's examination was going. This caused him to be especially restless. He took up his teacup and then placed it down, looking at the time throughout. Almost three hours. Although a third grade divine runic symbol was far more difficult than a second grade divine runic symbol, the time it took wasn't that much longer. Three hours should be more than enough to draw up the main form of a divine runic symbol. And after the main form was the most difficult fusion step. That was the crux for how to draw up a third grade divine runic symbol. This boy, he shouldn't really be able to succeed, right? Old Zhu whispered to himself, looking again and again at the door to the side hall. No, I must take a look at the situation myself, Dot. At this time, in the side hall, Lin Ming's drawing had reached the most critical phase. He had chosen one of the simplest third grade divine runic symbols. He didn't have full confidence that he would be able to pass the third grade divine runic master examination, so choosing a simpler divine runic symbol would make things a bit easier. Beautiful tiny runes floated atop the tip of Lin Ming's divine runic pen. At this time, his concentration was completely focused and his forehead was wet with beads of sweat. Not too far away, the white robed elder and several deacons were steadily watching Lin Ming's actions. As Lin Ming became increasingly close to finishing the main form of the divine runic symbol, all of them watched with breath abated. After that would be the most critical step. A single mistake would cause utter defeat. At this time, a sound transmission echoed in the white robed elder's ears. It was old Zhu. He was requesting a projection of Lin Ming's examination. For a spiritist martial artist, using their soul force to form a projection wasn't difficult at all. Moreover, this would affect Lin Ming's third grade divine runic master examination. The white robed elder nodded once and took out a crystal ball from his spatial ring. Then, he completely recorded the image of Lin Ming's third grade divine runic symbol and projected it outside. As this scene was projected outside, everyone suddenly stood up. Old Zhu and Old Su's eyes shined with a bright light as they saw this. Kin Yi's face darkened. In the phantom, Lin Ming had already completed drawing up the main form of the divine runic symbol. Lin Ming had taken out a blue soul level god rune. Following this would be the third step, fusing together the heavenly Tao laws. From a third grade divine runic symbol to a sixth grade divine runic symbol, what were used were blue soul level god runes. But, even amongst blue soul god runes there were differences in quality. The blue soul level god rune that Lin Ming had taken out was a relatively low rank one. With a flick of his right arm, the blue soul god rune dissolved into lines of the azure heavenly Tao. Underneath Lin Ming's hands, these heavenly Tao lines began to fuse into the divine runic symbol in a neat and meticulous order. In the process of fusing the azure heavenly Tao, the slightest mistake would cause the structure of the entire divine runic symbol to collapse. Lin Ming's movements were like a daredevil balancing atop a thin steel wire. A single mistake would wipe out everything. Teacher, can he succeed? Dream Pearl asked absentmindedly from beside Old Zhu. Old Zhu earnestly said, The third fusion step is the most difficult step in creating a third grade divine runic symbol. He has only just begun and this process should take at least over an hour. And, there cannot be a single mistake during this entire process. It's difficult to say, the third step has started. Everything before this I can also do, Kin Yi grimly said. He wasn't boasting either. In his normal peak condition, Kin Yi could also complete the main form of a third grade divine runic symbol. However, Kin Yi could at most finish half of the third step. This was because the third step was far too difficult. By the time he reached the midway point, he would have greatly overdrawn his soul force. As a result, by that time he could only watch helplessly on as the structural system of the divine runic symbol collapsed in his hands. Out of everyone present, Kin Yi was the one who didn't want Lin Ming to succeed the most. He even cursed Lin Ming in his heart, fervently hoping that he would fall short and fail during the fusion process. Time slowly passed. One quarter hour, two quarter hours, Lin Ming's movements remained calm and steady throughout. What no one knew was that after Lin Ming practiced the Azura Sutra, his understanding of the Azura Heavenly Tao had reached a phenomenal level. Although the third step was the most difficult to others, it was actually the simplest step for Lin Ming. For a divine runic symbol, as long as Lin Ming could complete the main form then there shouldn't be any problems finishing the rest. To him, fusing in the Azura Heavenly Tao was a breeze. However, he didn't want to be overly shocking to everyone, thus he slowed down his speed and finished the third step a little at a time. In that moment, an hour had passed. Lin Ming didn't have a single problem in this hour. He smoothly completed 90% of the fusion process. At this time, whether it was the White Robed Elder, Old Zhu, or Old Su, all of them held their breath. They could faintly feel that some glorious event was occurring, as if they were witnessing the rise of something momentous. Could. Could he really succeed? Kin Yi's eyelids jumped up. He felt this was far too unbelievable. After another incense stick of time, the final lines of the Azure Heavenly Tao fused into the Divine Runic Symbol. In that instant, the entire Divine Runic Symbol lit up with a brilliance beyond compare. Third grade Divine Runic Symbol. Complete. At this point, the phantom projection vanished. The white robed elder couldn't be bothered with maintaining it. Rather, he hurried forth to examine the Divine Runic Symbol that Lin Ming drew up. This is incredible. Old Zhu and Old Su stood up. They rushed forwards, pushing open a door to the side room to evaluate the result themselves. Everyone followed in close pursuit, wanting to bear witness to this momentous occasion. How is it? Old Zhu asked as soon as he stepped through the door. At this time, the white robed elder had sunk his soul force into the divine runic symbol. After a moment of probing, he handed over the divine runic symbol. Take a look yourself. Old Zhu and Old Su were already burning with impatience. They nearly snatched the divine runic symbol as they sunk their divine sense into it. Looking around, they could clearly see the situation within. They both sucked in a cold breath of air. 
Not only was this divine runic symbol complete, but it was impeccable in nearly all aspects. The two old men looked at each other in shock. Then, they turned towards Lin Ming. They no longer knew just what to say to him. After looking at Lin Ming for a long time, old Zhu Riley smiled. This brat, I really want to cut him open and study him. A year ago, old Zhu had met Lin Ming in the internal trading area of the Divine Runic Master's Guild. At that time, he never would have expected that the little kid who he didn't even want to bother responding to would produce such a shocking event. As Lin Ming heard old Zhu's words, he felt they were a bit insensitive. Slice him open and study him? He knew that old Zhu was only joking around, but it was true that his influence and relationships were lacking. This was something he was extremely sensitive about. He couldn't guarantee that there wouldn't be anyone in the Divine Runic Master's Guild who would have such an idea. After all, his skeletal age was a bit too conspicuous. For him to have such achievements at his skeletal age, it was inevitable that there would be some people who had their own suspicious and would want to investigate him. If it were a world king then Lin Ming naturally wouldn't fear them. But, if an empty Rin were interested in him, then that would not be a good development. This fellow, just which Divine Runic Grand Master's apprentice is he? Could it be a hidden 7th grade Divine Runic Master? Old Su thought out loud, looking back into his memories. Even after thinking for some time, he still couldn't think of such a great expert in the entire inner Azure road. Lin Ming's Divine Runic Arts technique was far too abnormal. Hearing Old Su and Old Zhu's words, Lin Ming's thoughts stirred. That was right, he should come up with a hidden grand expert master who was teaching him. In the Divine Runic Arts, it was nearly impossible for someone to achieve great success without a master teaching them. Lin Ming was young and had such attainments in the Divine Runic Arts that if he said he had no master, no one would believe him. Rather, it would be said that not only did Lin Ming have a master, but his master was disgustingly formidable. This secret master was likely a 7th grade Divine Runic Master, an Empyrean, and perhaps even above an Empyrean. This person must have personally taught Lin Ming and meticulously guided him through every step of the Divine Runic Arts. When this was added along with Lin Ming's own amazing perception and talent, only then could that legendary moment have occurred just now. As Lin Ming realized all of this, he was became willing to push things along and smooth the road, making up a master for himself. A powerful master would give him an extra layer of safety and deter some of those people who thought of plotting against him. In fact, if Lin Ming were to say he had a true divinity as a teacher there would still be people that believed him. After all, whether it was in Divine Runic Arts or individual strength, Lin Ming far surpassed the geniuses of a true divinity holy land. 